Hello everyone, Susugemi here and welcome back to War Thunder. Today I'm gonna test brand new SU-8. But before that, let's talk about some new stuff that is coming to War Thunder. First one is the new Premium Term 3. It's an upcoming Premium MBT of rank 5, belongs to the German Tech 3. One unique thing about this tank, the barrel has 3 axis stabilizer. It's a unique mechanic that never been added to this game. It's good to see something new. The 30mm cannon is a plus and I hope it will be a good counterattack to the current PT-76-57 which was a top battle pass reward. Another ground Israeli tech 3 vehicle is announced. Zaklam M3. It's actually a truck. You can see the S11 missiles, four of them on top of it. The French Premium AMX-13 actually were wearing them. Exact same model. Before they were easily controllable, then devs changed something. They're a bit wobbly now. This little truck will be at the rank 5, between 7.0, 8.0. We'll see. Okay, now the main subject of this video, the current battle passes top reward. Alright, so here is a test flight. Let's see how fast we can take off with the full bomb loadout. So since this is strike aircraft, uh, you cannot spawn mid-air in the squadron battles. So that's a minus. As you can see, we're at the full throttle. Still couldn't get up. I remind you, this is not a frontline bomber. This is a strike aircraft. Still couldn't get up. And... Take off. It's a Chungus, guys. I'm telling you. Or they, by looking at the left and right, I can feel the speed of this plane, like how slow it is. The controls are not that responsive. It actually feels less maneuverable than the P8. Let's try to bomb the target. And the bomb loadout is not that impressive. Like if it was a frontline bomber with the scope, maybe it would have been efficient, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, like against Verbal Vent or R3, this thing don't have a single chance. It's just ginormous. Let's use our quad cannon. Let's see. The cannon is a plus. It's the deadliest sound I've heard in this game. Our 45mm cannons have penetration of 63 and now let's look at the ITP 60 like they both have similar penetration but ITP uses 37mm cannon instead of 45 like not gonna lie to you to us it's a front light bomber it can turn fast controls are much more responsive it pulls fast as well I can't feel any of these in the SU-8 which is sad this plane cannot take off, but since in the ground RB have air spawn, it is as the job. I set the fuse time to 1.5 seconds. Spot it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that was quite slow.
All right, so is SU-8 truly worth it? Absolutely not. When there is good planes at this lineup, such as the Yak-90, ITP, Tizma, P-8, there is no need for this plane. If Soviets didn't have any cas, maybe it would have been an option, but it's similar to TU-1, but it's actually much slower. If you're gonna get it, I recommend you to use cannon loadout only to increase your survivability. However, if you're playing against it, good time to start researching the SPAA or a basic fighter because you don't want to keep this thing alive in the sky for too long. Top 50 cals works as well. You can easily hit this. It's a giant. As a SU-8 user, I don't have a single chance against verbal winds and of course R3s. Any of those fast firing anti-air guns. If it was a frontline bomber, it would have had scope and you could have cleared the AAs from the far distance without getting too close. But since it's a strike aircraft, it doesn't receive one. Fortunately, the armor belt of 45 millimeters will require 150 spawn cost and the default belt is quite useless. Only one armor piercing round out of three. This plane is quite similar to the duck. Uh, duck suffers from the same stuff, bad maneuverability and losing energy too quickly. So yeah. Of course, it's not a like super heavy tank destroyer. Like you can hurt tanks like I don't know Ferdinand Tiger One. Do not overrate the quad 45 millimeter cannon. What's 45 millimeter cannon? Is? It's the same cannon that BT5 uses. So imagine four BT5s shooting at the same time to a Tiger One. That kind of efficiency. So I guess this main gun is more efficient against light and medium targets heavy targets again if you dive correctly you can burn them just like you burn them in yak 90 you can penetrate their roofs but again because it's a heavy plane doing top downs like yak 90 itp can do it but su8 cannot so to not crash you need to dive carefully and diving with 45 degree angle reduces the efficiency of these cannons against armor so that's my opinion about main firepower of the scas in the ground realistic okay pick the ground loadout pick the vamps but drop them in the first dive drop empty it just empty it so you're gonna have more energy in the second dive bombs are reducing the efficiency a lot i just usually go with double 500 so that concludes the su8 review unique but not efficient i guess this will be a better a realistic grinder than the tu1 you can kill a lot of ground targets with this in air realistic matches just eating the enemy tickets off but in a ground it's quite a vulnerable target it says the turn time is 25 like on a paper it, it's great but it cannot turn that's the bad stuff it feels like a 40 not 25 and i'm telling this by comparing it to the frontline bomber tu2s which has 30 turn time but a much more responsive and maneuverable. Alright guys, do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.